Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we are here at the Cape Canaveral Air Station for the launch of that rocket back there, the Falcon 9 from SpaceX. It is a commercial rocket that's been doing a lot of missions to the International Space Station and some private uh, satellite launches as well. Today it is launching something for NOAA, which is the same agency that monitors weather here on the planet Earth. Uh, they're going to be monitoring weather from the sun as well because there are things that the sun uh, can spew at us that can cause a lot of problems to our uh, power grid, to our orbiting satellites, our communication systems, you name it. So they want to get uh, some early warning about that. There is a satellite currently doing that, uh, but that one's about to die. So they're going to be sending up this uh, this new one, which is actually a refurbished old one, uh, to uh, be able to uh, continue providing that data to officials here on the planet Earth. And that satellite is going to be hoisted at the top of that nose cone there, a million miles away from where I'm standing right now. So this might be the first rocket that can come back to Earth and land and not just get dumped in the ocean like many other rockets do. So if you think about it, uh, everything behind me normally is disposable. Everything except the satellite at the very top. And uh, what SpaceX is trying to do is develop a way to bring one of these things back, uh, get it refurbished quickly, and then uh, send it back out to launch. Because if you can reduce the launch cost to uh, light refurbishment and fuel, uh, it'll certainly be a lot cheaper than having to build a new rocket every time you want to send something into space. They came very close on the last launch to getting one of these to land uh, on a uh, little floating platform in the ocean. This one will attempt to do the same thing. Uh, that last uh, rocket ran out of uh, hydraulic fluid. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but there is some consumable hydraulic fluid on board. They just ran out, uh, couldn't get it steered the right way, but it did hit the barge. It just didn't land on it. This one, they've uh, put in more hydraulic fluid and are, are about 50-50, uh, given a 50-50 chances of uh, success. Now, the way it lands is uh, there are four landing struts at the bottom of the rocket, and there's also uh, four fins around uh, midway up. And what the, both of those things will work in conjunction to do uh, is to steer that lower stage right back down onto the pad and basically have it land standing up just like it does when it takes off. Not an easy feat by any stretch, but what will happen is uh, the rocket motors will reignite to slow it down. It'll put itself into that uh, vertical position, and those fins at the top will uh, maneuver it through the atmosphere and kind of guide it uh, back to its uh, home base on that uh, floating barge that uh, is out there in the ocean right now waiting for it. So it'll be pretty exciting to see uh, if we can see all of that happen tonight. We're definitely not going to see it land. We are definitely going to see it launch if it does go. Uh, we might see it light up again when it's ready to come back down because of the, the angle that it's taking. Uh, so provided the clouds are good, we might uh, be able to catch a glimpse of it. It'll just be kind of a little dot in the sky or something, but it'll still be pretty cool to see. So uh, stay tuned, and hopefully we'll see a launch this evening.